All right. Welcome back. Episode two of... God knows how many. Probably 60 or 70, considering how slow I tend to play games. But we'll see. Um, might actually get to make some real decisions in this playthrough. Maybe. I don't know. First part of this game is pretty linear. You don't get to choose a lot other than kill the O'Driscoll or don't, you know, how you want to go about gunfights. The story is pretty straightforward, so... Um, but maybe we'll get down to where we can decide whether or not we're going to go hunting, or play some poker, or, you know, rob a bank. Who knows? Who knows what we're going to decide to do? We also have to decide how we're going to play, you know. we got all these, um forget how to get to him. So press buttons until we get the right one. Oh, that's the satchel. Okay. That's the view. Oh, I didn't realize there was a loop behind you button. Uh, yep. Okay, I changed that to call a horse. The hell is my button to like look at my maybe I can't do it yet. Like look at like what your missions updates are. They alert there, Javier. Hey. Help with you boys because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess... I guess folks miss them. That fell? But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. Somebody made a mod that you can party. just kill Micah whenever you want to. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and get that out of the way. Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. We've both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. Good I know point. you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You. You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place there are O'Driscolls about? Yeah! All right. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. Here we go. You said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this store of their planet. The gang is loose. Go find them, old Driscoll boys. The only fools out here are us and them. Whip them they good. This way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. 
I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this... I don't really get that logic. I mean... Can you forget something without forgiving it? I don't think that's possible. If I could remember it, I totally wouldn't forgive you about it. gentlemen this is it are we goddamn ready ready Dutch yeah. good goddamn now, ready Dutch mr. Morgan and I we're gonna head up here a little see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp mr. Williamson mr. Bell you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp see smoke mr. Summers mr. Escuela you two hold position here Let's go. You stay here. I need to get from you. Even there. Okay. I guess I can't get stuff off the horse right now. There they go. There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, that's him. One of them is a uh, guy you meet later. Who's he talking Try and do this without spoilers. You don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right, let's go pay our old friend. That's some revenge. We get killing him. Let's embarrass him first. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. Thanks, Dad. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. You got it, Dutch. Get the carbine repeater. I'll take the. Take the bow. Should we do the shotgun? Pistol. Shotgun. Why not? All right. Good. Come on, let's go. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just. Wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including comb, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. Love this Arthur Morgan jacket. I want a jacket like this. Winter time, it's like I'm some kind of ranch hand. Uh oh, got shadows doing weird things. It 
steep here. Careful. I do particularly like this gunfight coming up there. It's kind of a good introduction to gunfights. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running, hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. So we got everything we need. Okay, I'll go first. Don't drink, go! You're dead, you sons of bitches! Push your floor! said go after him, but...
dead? I think he's dead. That was close. Hallelujah. Pick up these hats. Oh, there's a way to do it. Yeah, I can't right now. All their stuff. Missed one. All right, I'm gonna go find my hat. Retrace my steps. You don't have time to mess around. Eh, shut up, Dutch. You can find my hat. for all the stuff. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. I'm just chewing tobacco. Vegetables are all good stuff. I wonder if the dynamite and detonator are in that big box called dynamite. Let's look at it. Here, this looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. It smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you, boys. All of you. Not a man down. Did Good it. work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. I feel like maybe Outlaws for life. some people did better than others, Dutch. Wait till we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us. And I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get calm, but this hit'll hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. 
Oh, of course he will. Just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Yeah. Because you're all boat crazy. You got all wrapped up in this horrible boat idea with Micah. All right. Dig in, fellas. You big dummy. Pretty game. Get out. Pretty game. Gotcha. Please don't. I'm no use to you, really. Now you just sit back here. Please, please, you don't need to do this. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna lie. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna lie. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! That moon creeping up over there. Don't do this, please. You better shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. Mm. Just let me go, please. Come on, just name your price. Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. <laughs> you tell him. You tell him, Arthur. We're almost back. Shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. 
We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Archie. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. few days later it's been a bad few weeks but yeah. Dutch being Dutch he is busy making plans and Dutch being Dutch those plans involve robbery and dreams and money who the hell is well, Leviticus Cornwall now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He see me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now. Railway man. <laughs> Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge. Tough the load. Tower, just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. We need money. Me, Hosea. I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly, we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnate, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch. Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Ba -da -ba. That Micah. We're gonna pick it off after he crosses the border. Right in your face. Wizards. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars and deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan Frey. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now, come on. Ooh, Let's look. Foreshadowing up there in the background. I 
never noticed that. What's Lenny's last name, Dutch? Why do we all have last names? Except for Lenny. Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many Why are you getting in front of me? Same question, Marker. That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Yeah, would love to. to talk to Bill. Talk to Bill, Will. Come on, Billy. Billy Willie. How you getting on? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. All right. Got this. to the others. I got it from here. Look at these like trees and so of just snow covering the top of them a little bit. No mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. I heard okay, a dad. Cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Uh, leave the bow. We're not gonna need the bow this time. Forget to do that in this game. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. 
You all know what to do. Hit it, Bill. Here we go. Shit, no, what? God, oh, you have got to be kidding me. Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. So it's my fault. Come on. You're pathetic. You know that? Why don't you come on, Dutch? Easy to criticize from your high horse there. Here we go, Here boys! We go. Right. My guys. Good shooting, kid. I can see now why the old Driscoll's brought so many boys up here for this. What about the old Driscoll girls? You two all right? In their love. Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. 
Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little! That's enough! Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. I lost my hat again. Too much to us. But you boys in there might want to take a step back. Oh, I got to put mine up there too. Seems good Here enough. Go. Now light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Cool guys walk away from explosions. Search that train. <laughs> hey, fucking Javier. Seriously? Pump into me. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Jim, Mr. Cornwall. He's king. We are yet to receive payment of two thousand dollars for the initial phase of exploration at Wapiti Indian Reservation. Come on. Amberino has agreed. Get oh, there. Is that what it is? Agreed in the contract between Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar, and the Leland Oil Development Company, dated November 9th, 1898. On receipt of the funds, we will proceed with phases two and three of the project and present you with detailed report of our findings within the month. Yours respectfully, James Critchley, head of accounts, Invoices, Leland Oil Development blah, Company. Blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boaties ordered from Europe. I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? Yeah. Jameson Mining and Coal Company. Dear Leviticus, Come on, thank you for the telegram and for your continued interest in the Jameson Mining Company. However, any luck, Arthur? Nothing much yet. Any news well, you have looking. received of mismanagement or financial yeah, difficulties at the mine in Annisburg are simply fake. I would These wait seem you to, be to urge you to question oh, your sources. Man, will you guys yeah. shut up so I can read this letter? <sighs> well, keep looking. The coal industry be is quite different from the oil industry in a number of ways. Uh, so I certainly remain I'm open to a business that. meeting at your convenience to exchange ideas and educate each other in our respective areas of corporate expertise. I would also be delighted to host you in Annisburg and give you a personal tour of the mine and its associated facilities. I look forward to further correspondence. Yours sincerely, Archibald Jameson. Yeah, seriously, just let me read a second. I'm so impatient. Let's see, I think it's here maybe? There's Cornwall. No, this looks like something. That lockbox wasn't very locked. 
spawn. Think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> you in here? Ooh, some money. Smigarettes. Uh, we got a card in this. I'm busy. Travel and locomotion. Just waiting on you, Arthur. All right, all right, I'm coming. I didn't see where my hat went, did you? There's a watch. Are you done in there? Nope. Take a quick shit. Be right up. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, uh, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. personal just can't have any loose ends you know can't just have me running back to Leviticus Cornwall and um you guys got a um hat I can wear ooh you got a watch No hats. You have a hat? There you go. Yeah. Go over there. Just cannot pick up a hat. Okay. Let's just not be that part of the game. Anyway. Here. guys but it just takes forever uh, we got enough Let's see if we can locate my hat real quick you all see my hat Lost it for good this time. Yes, I know I can just get on my horse and get another one, but it just feels cheap to me. I want to just be able to hang on to it, you know? Just pull a magic hat out of my horse's ass and I want to find my hat. You know what? I'm not doing that. This whole game, I'm going to not wear my hat. Unless I find one, it'll be a thing I do. Magic hats. You have my hat? Eh, you just have a gunshot wound. Oh, I bet it fell when he punched me up here. Maybe that's where it went. Punched me.
Runaway train never coming back. One way on the way track. Seems like I should be getting somewhere. Somehow I'll be the here nor there. Bet y'all wish I didn't have a good mic for that. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Happier music. Finally, take this jacket off. <coughs> Lenny, Micah, get over here. Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead. Make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me with the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <laughs> Nearly there. You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes. 
The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. All whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkerton's? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know. Maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Guacamole. Yeah. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. <laughs> Whipping yeah. up a quick batch. You can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Whoa, slow down there, Arthur. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. 
It went well. This is a good spot. Oop. Excellent. Missed my turn, boys. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Through the woods. I did like the um, idea of moving your camp around in this game, you know? It's kind of like you never have like this one feeling of like this is my Here home base. Home sweet home. Like sets up the story well. You weren't wrong, Jose. This place Here we is are. perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. Mm -hmm. I hope You'd probably so. sell those rings. Would you just some money? look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen. I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it <laughs> properly. Oh, all right. I think that's gonna be a perfect spot to end episode two since we're on to chapter two horseshoe overlook this is when we get the the meat of being able to kind of do what we want in this game and wander the open wild west do what we please sort of probably well, stick to the story a bit road east into some pretty enough country called the heartlands been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. I guess I can't do my hat thing since he found it. Maybe somebody gave it back to him. Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. 
I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <sighs> Fresh air. All right. Cowboys and cowgirls. We'll see you again in episode three. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. Wait for Dutch to finish this thing. Nothing. We're free. Okay. We're free to plan our own futures once more. Okay. I hope so, Dutch. All right, Dutch. Go. You kept the faith, Arthur. Take your crazy somewhere else. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Return that neckerchief from the picnic table you stole it from, you fuck. All right. Anyway, goodbye. See you again for episode three.